Okay, so in the last video we introduced this idea that maybe if we, if we start adding some higher degree terms onto our linear approximation, we can improve over that original tangent line approximation, right? We can, we can get some, some curves that match the original graph better and for a better range of values. So the problem becomes one of determining what these coefficients should be, right? And if you're wondering why I chose powers of x minus c rather than simply powers of x, well, that's because we want to make the comparison at this value x minus, or x equals c, right? So it's nice to be able to just plug in x equals c, and of course if you do that, all these terms are going to go away, right? So, so let's say we want to define q of x. What are some things that we're going to require? Well, the minimum requirement that we should put on this thing is that it should agree with the original function at that point, right? So at c, we should have equality, exact equality. So q of c should equal f of c, right? Makes sense, right? They should, they should touch at that point. Um, okay, so... That means that f of c should be equal to, well, a zero, right? Because if I put x equals c in here, I get zero, zero, right? So q of c is just a zero, right? So now we know what a zero should be. Okay, what's the next sort of reasonable thing that you might ask? Um, well, we probably want them to have the same tangent line at that point, right? We want, we want them to have the same slope as they pass through, right? If I, if I had my curve and I was trying to approximate by a quadratic that agreed at that point, but the slopes didn't agree, right? I probably have something that looks like that. That's not going to be a good approximation, right? So the two curves should be tangent to each other at x equals c. Well, how do I guarantee that the curves are tangent to each other? Their first derivatives should be equal. So q prime of c should be equal to f prime of c, right? But what's q prime of c? Well, we can just, we can take the derivative. Um, this is a constant term, so it goes away. q prime of c, well, let's say q prime of x to begin with, q prime of x is going to be a1 times the derivative of x minus c, which is just 1. So this is just a1, right? Here we can use the power rule plus chain rule. 2 comes down in front, 2 times a2 times x minus c times 1, right? The derivative of the inside is just 1. Um, so that means that q prime of c is, well, again, this is going to go to 0, so q prime of c is just a1, and that's what we want to be f prime of c. Okay, so notice what we have so far, right? This is going to be f of c, f prime of c, times x minus c. So far it looks exactly like the linear approximation, but we have with this one more term, right? So now, We come to, well, how do we deal with that last term? Again, we, we say, okay, so we want, we want the quadratic to be tangent, right? So, but there's lots of ways that we might set things up so that a quadratic is tangent, right? Maybe we have it kind of come in and, and it does, I don't know, sort of something like this, right? Um, that doesn't look like a graph of a function, but still. Um, the next thing that you want is, is you want to say something about the curvature, right? So, for example, if we're, if we're looking, let's say, at a, at a maximum or a minimum, right? Um, I, could draw, I could draw a quadratic like this, right? And it would be tangent. These two curves are tangent to each other. They have the same function value. They have the same first derivative at that point, right? But their second derivatives are way off. They're not even the same sign, right? 
So the next thing that you probably want is you want to make sure that they kind of curve the same at that point. And we know that curvature is concavity is second derivative. So the second derivative of Q should equal the second derivative of F. Okay? And we say, what's Q double prime? Well, we just take the derivative here. That's a constant. It goes away, right? The constant term always disappears. Then we have 2A2, well, times 1. Okay? Uh, so this, of course, that's a constant, so that's also the value of Q prime of C. So Q prime of C is 2A2, and we want that to equal F prime of C. And that means that a 2, we have to divide by 2, right? Or sorry, f double prime. Should be f double prime of c over 2. OK. So it's not simply just putting the second derivative in there, right? We have to account for the fact that as we take derivatives of power functions, right, the powers come down. So we can put that in. f double prime of c over 2 times x minus c squared, and now you've got yourself a quadratic approximation, right? And if you wanted to do cubic, well, it's going to be the same story, right? Um, the work that we did here, it's going to be exactly the same, right? Um, you follow through the steps because what would happen is that cubic term would be along for the ride, right? Um, if we were doing it here, we'd still have the 3 would come down. We'd have 3b3 x minus c squared still goes away when you plug in the c, x equals c, right? Um, then you'd come down to here. When you did this derivative, you'd have the 2a2. You'd have a 3 times 2 times b3 times x minus c. So again, it goes away. When you get to the third derivative, what you're going to find is that c triple prime of x, or if you like, because um, I shouldn't have used c, c and c, oh well. Um, you're going to get, it's going to be 3 times 2 times b3, okay? Um, and you'd want that to be equal to f triple prime at c. So you work that out and you'd find that, okay, so c, the cubic approximation, should be, should be f of c, f prime of c, x minus c, f double prime of c, over 2 times x minus c squared, and then f triple prime over 6 times x minus c cubed. Okay? And then you got the cubic approximation. And, and from here, you start thinking, you try to figure out what's the pattern, where is this going to go from here. Once you figure out what the pattern is, you can write down this general formula um, for what are called Taylor polynomials, and we'll do that in the next video.